welcome. I am Danielle Ford, and this is another episode of Leading Las Vegas. Today, I am chatting with a really great friend of mine, <laughs> Megan Williams. She is a network marketing professional. Uh, Megan, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what you do? Yeah, so I have been in network marketing for the last six years, three years full time. And um, lately, I've just been incorporating a lot of social media into my business and um, teaching others how to do the same. And you're great at it. You have figured out um, really creative ways to use like Snapchat and some live streaming on Facebook to be really creative with yeah. what you do. Absolutely. I think that's um, really important in the sales aspect and just really trying to um, promote more of a realness um, behind you know who you are as a salesperson and without being so salesy and also bringing creativity uh, into your products you know to, so that you can um, share what it is that they do and how they can serve your ideal customer right so there's a lot of controversy in the network marketing industry and about the network marketing industry and I'm gonna tell you the truth we've had conversations <laughs> about this um, I have never been like into network marketing I've never been like on the bandwagon and I have actually like signed up for companies a couple times because I love their products and I was like a discount if I joined as a yeah. person um, but you know I think everybody has a story of where they feel like they kind of got like sideswiped by a network marketing professional totally yeah and I know like personally there's one time um, it kind of just really stands out where a girl who I really liked and kind of like respected and thought we were like forming a friendship mm -hmm. was like, oh, you know, let's go to this event. You know, it's going to be awesome, <laughs> yada, yada. And for me, I have I have two kids. And, you know, like when we're trying to go out, I have to like take them to my mom's house. Yes. And like it's this whole deal. Yes. And so I went to this event and it was she's trying to sell me on stuff with a group of people also trying to sell their people there. I was just like, <sighs> oh, I can't. So. Can you talk about that, like kind of some of the things that you've seen people do wrong uh, and maybe how, how they could fix it? So many things wrong. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, um, I was kind of lucky to have never really been sideswiped that way, but I still had, like, my own personal, like, stigmas around it and my, I, my ideas and misconceptions um, just based on what your friends tell you, right? Like, I had a friend who this happened to, and, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and you just hear all the horror. Um, <laughs> and when I was introduced to it, I didn't know that it was network marketing, but what I was being told sounded so great. And, and then when we went to lunch, like, there was absolutely no, you know, um, there was none of that. Like, she didn't bombard me, like, with, um, you know, these hidden... Uh, you know agendas or anything like that and just it's just very straightforward with it and and I just ha got really lucky with someone mm -hmm. being honest with me up front and was led because it's all about the leadership right it's all mm -hmm. about you know um, telling the truth because the truth should be enough you know if you have to lie and I mean there's there's no room for that in if you want to create um, you know, a real persona around like the the good of network marketing because everyone has a, not everyone, but like so many people have such a bad idea around it. And so you have to be that leader that steps in and tells the truth. And, you know, from the beginning when someone says, is this network marketing? You mm -hmm. need to be proud and, and say that with conviction that like, yes, it is. I wouldn't do it otherwise, right? I've asked people that and they're like, well, it's not that it's network marketing. It's just that it's, or it's not an MLM, it's this. And it's like, Okay, but just just let's call it spade yeah. a spade. You already lose. <laughs> yeah, like you've lost me there. Like, don't even try to be that. Right. right. No. So, um, so I, I I got lucky, and I've only done one company, and okay. I've been loyal to that company, and I have such a loyal customer base, because I have never been that person that you talk about. Right. Like, I mean, I would just feel horrible about myself anyway. <laughs> so you um, you've only done one company. I was going to ask you that, and you're like pretty high up there and they even you know sent camera crews out to do that awesome video yeah. uh, for you to as it's the face of the company um, do you think that part of your success with this company was the fact that you like chose one company and dove into it because I see a lot of people who do like every MLM there is and they're like hey you can buy Tupperware also makeup also this <laughs> you know and they're like they're in, in every <laughs> in company yes. do you think that has something to do with it I do because I don't believe truly that you can be a successful network marketer in multiple companies it's okay. just not real like there are people that have said to me that you know um 
I would be so great on your team. I've done six companies. <laughs> and I'm like, well, so You're like red flag. Basically red flag. <laughs> you were successful in zero of those, right? Because right. you would still be doing that company. And so I I feel like I just got really lucky. I did a lot of research. I think due diligence is so yeah. important. And if you're just going to jump into something before you know the details and you're it's all about the money for you or, you know, this bright shiny object syndrome and you don't do your research and you don't know how you're going to get paid, you don't know what the products are. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're in for a real like shithole like really you're gonna drown like you're not you're gonna get sideswiped with so many things and at the at the end of the day you know someone else is gonna approach you and they're gonna say but I'm doing this one and you're just gonna like you know like that you're not like you're not if you're not solid and if you haven't if you don't have that conviction in what you're selling and you don't even know your target market then you know jumpers are I mean they're everywhere and I've had a couple and to be honest with you they weed themselves out because they're just going to go find... I don't even give them my time because they're going to leave. Like, they're going to find something yeah. new. So I'm sure that you get a lot of that, especially here in Las Vegas, because I, I feel like when I've seen you market, and I also have some other friends that I have seen market their MLMs well yeah. versus people who don't, um, the biggest thing that stands out to me is some of these companies or the leadership is... Uh, targeting people with things like get rich quick oh why aren't you making a thousand dollars this month you could be doing this too and you could have this car but you and some other people I respect who do it right say things like hey this is a really good business opportunity and it's a lot of work and I'm going to show you how to do it which seems like the difference between the people that actually last in those companies yeah. versus the ones that realize they oh they're not going to make a million dollars this month totally well I mean there is that key word in network marketing right it's work like <laughs> network you yeah <laughs> it's not like net rich quick, net rich, quick marketing quick. so um I I do tell my team that I do tell everyone that comes into my group that because um I'm not here as a leader to drag you every day and babysit you and you know I mean that is that is um me not teaching them how to lead their team right i mean i don't want Mm -hmm. to bring people onto my team and teach them how to babysit by me babysitting them because none of us will ever become successful and they're not going to be able to do anything on their own and you know the the um where people i think mess up a lot is like especially in the beginning is that they're so desperate to get like everybody as many people as they can on their team but like you have to know whether or not that person's even right for you. Like, you have to go mm-hmm. through that, you know, qualifying process. Like, you know, I mean, obviously, Danielle, I would kill to have somebody like you on my team. <laughs> Do I know that Danielle is, like, the ideal person for my team? Like, she would be great at it. I'm sure she has a, an, an esthetician background. She's awesome <laughs> at sales. She does video marketing. Like, of course, I would love for her to throw a product <laughs> in a funnel and blow it up. But, like... That's not what she, like, I wouldn't even ever approach her about that because she's so solid in what she does, and I'm not going to show that desperation, right? Because, like, if she yeah. knew what I did, she knows what I do. And if, like, if it were ever something that she considered, I know that she would come to me. Because totally. Of, because of how I've, like, you know, shown that, you know, the right way to do it, right? Like There are people, like, um, I'm like, first of all, if I was going to do it, I would definitely join your team, you know, and or maybe a different product if I wanted to under a different friend that I trusted, but there's people I don't even know very well that will straight up like message me and they're like, oh, so you mean you're not doing this company? Like, you mean you're not making th- this whatever? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm not and I'm good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm fine. Um, you suck. <laughs> yeah, they, it's almost like they talk down to you instead of like respecting like what you just said, like, hey, if you're ever ready, I'm here versus yeah. like shaming. I see a lot of people like shaming or like there's only one way to get that success by joining that company, which, so I'm probably not like your target market because I, I really do already have my stuff yeah. figured out. But who like would be who who would be a good person to consider uh, a career in network marketing? You know, I love um, just hungry people that like they they know exactly what they want in their life. Like you know, maybe they don't have everything that they want, or maybe they do, and like they're not just happy with that. Like I love those driven 
young um, people who are social media savvy, mm -hmm. who maybe have like even gone to college and you know, um, just haven't really found, or maybe like me, bartending for 10 years and, you know, working and opening up all these incredible fine dining restaurants around the South, but like also, and being proud of what I did, but like also at the end of the day, like not feeling like I had a purpose. Like mm -hmm. you lay your head down the pillow at the end of the night and you may have made a thousand dollars that day, but like what impact did you really have on people? Right. So like, just people that want to make a difference, people that want to be secure um, financially and and work hard to get there. You know, they're not just there for this overnight, you know, mm. get rich quick thing because that's not what this is. And um, that are just committed to being a good leader and committed to um, really the success of others because I'm not successful until I create success for those on my team. That is probably the biggest thing that I really like about the concept of the MLM or network marketing. It doesn't matter like how much you sell and that has your pockets with dollars. It matters how much the people under you are selling, which is a really good you know, driving force for yeah. somebody who cares about other people's success like you do. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember you telling me um, a really good story about how you kind of got into it, into network marketing. Um, I know you probably don't want to go into everything right now, but um, it was really inspiring when you, when you like realize like where you were with your bartending and not that bartending is an amazing job or fun or bringing was, value to people's lives, yeah, but you was were. Great. Um, I was just having, you know, I was, I was having a really bad day <laughs> like a really shitty day and um you know something happens like in those moments where you know you start to question like is this what I want to do with every freaking day like yeah. you know when you just get punched from every angle like from all sides from every human you come in contact with in 24 hours and you're just ready to murder everyone. And then at the end of the day, you're just like, why am I doing this? Like, does this, like, is this gonna better my life really in the end? I mean, serving wine all day was just, you, you know. think of like all those punches was like the universe telling yeah, you like totally. something needs to change. Totally, yeah. something needs to change because, you know, um, I, well, I'll just say, like, I'm there and I'm having this moment. And I had remembered in college, I literally had written down a, on a piece of paper the five things that I thought would be the most incredible job, you know, of, of like how I wanted to live my life. And I had a background in science, so I wanted it to have something to do with that. I wanted uh -huh. it to have something to do with giving back. I wanted it to have something to do with travel, because mm -hmm. I'm like a travel junkie. Um, and then for me to have my own hours and for me to be in control of my money. So, when I showed that to my mom, she kind of laughed. <laughs> She's like, yeah, big She's dreams. She's like, yeah. Um, how do you expect to ever find that? And I just said, you know, I don't know. Uh, but if it's meant to be, maybe it'll find me, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and so we, you have that in the back of your mind and you're focused on attracting something like that into your life, not knowing when and if it'll ever happen. But you just have that to hold on to. And in walks this woman into my life that day when I was just getting punched from all sides and she um, shared with me what she was doing and she was so um, magnetic and that's what it's about like that presence that you bring to the universe and to everyone that you meet and I knew that she was happy I knew that she had a, a purpose and I knew that she was grounded with what she did and it was never she never pitched me you know it was I was so curious because she had that energy and I was like, I have to know what you're doing. You're like, I want that. And I feel like it aligns with all the things that I've put out to the universe. Totally. So yeah. And when she said, when I said, I want to take you to lunch tomorrow, what do you, what do I need to bring? And she said an open mind. And I was just like, lady, like you could <laughs> tell me, you know, any, everything that she said just in that short 10 minute span you know, when, when something sounds good, too good to be true, you know, but I thought even if a 10th of that, what she's saying is real, it's like a thousand times better than what I was doing in that moment. So why not give it a look? Like you only have, you know, you have a choice to say yes or no. So don't just be like, no, you know, unless they come to you, like you oh, have, crazy, yeah. yeah, crazy, but like, why not give it a shot? You know, I mean, you never know. It could totally change your life. That's, that's very good wisdom for anything. Yeah. You know, at all. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was really um, eye-opening about how that works. <laughs> I, honestly, like, I, I have changed my perceptions um, around the whole industry altogether. But 
If people want to connect with you um, to see how you are rocking social media within your industry, even other networking professionals should, you guys, you should check out what she's doing with social media because this is very creative and it works, right? Yeah, it's worked so far. How can they find you? Um, you guys can go to megslv.com um, and also follow me on Snapchat. Like, find me. I'm at megslv on Snapchat and pretty much every other social media platform. And, um, yeah, so there's a nice little bonus on my website for other other people who are in network marketing that want to use social media. So that's awesome. It's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on the show. Uh, you are a great guest. Thanks uh, for having me. You're welcome. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, again, I'm Danielle Ford of DanielleFord.com, where visibility makes a difference. <laughs> and I will see you in the next episode of Leading Las Vegas. Bye, guys. Bye.